Most academic writing follows specific rules that you'll be expected to use when writing at the Open Polytechnic. However, because academic writing comes in many forms, for example essays, reports, reflective journal articles, position papers and literature reviews, these different types of writing will follow specific styles, so always check with your lecturer about the type of writing you're expected to do. Academic writing contains a number of consistent features. It follows a particular tone. It is objective and formal, with no colloquial or slang words. It includes evidence from other experts in the field, which are called references. It answers or debates a specific question or field, that is, it's focused. It has clear organisation and layout so that it follows a logical structure, and it's grammatically correct. Like all forms of writing, academic writing has its own tone and is usually objective, which means writing in the third person rather than the first person and not using the word I in your writing. Academic writing is also concise, which means using as few words as possible to get your points across. And academic writing is formal, which means avoiding slang, exclamation marks and contractions. For example, writing is not instead of isn't. The tone of academic writing also varies depending on the subject area and the academic discipline you're writing in. The readings, textbooks for your course are good examples of the tone that's expected in your writing, so it's a good idea to study their style carefully. Academic writing is based on the citation and referencing of published authors. If you make judgments about something in academic writing, you are expected to support your opinion by linking it to what a published author has previously written on the subject. Citing the work of other authors is essential in academic writing because it shows that you have read the literature, understood the ideas and have incorporated the various ideas and viewpoints into your assignment. Open Polytechnic uses the American Psychological Association or APA referencing system and we have a number of resources available to teach you how to use it correctly. You will find those resources on our website and the support page of the online campus. A simple logical structure, such as a beginning, middle and end, or an introduction, body and conclusion, is typical of an essay format, as well as other assignment writing tasks. The introductory paragraph of an essay tells the reader about the nature of the topic, which is then discussed and evaluated in the middle or the body of the essay. The introduction may also briefly summarise your position on the topic, which you then elaborate on in the sequence of paragraphs that make up the body of the essay. The final paragraph is the conclusion in which you summarise the main points made. The concluding paragraph is also an opportunity to state the significance of your findings by making recommendations, for example. Another common formal structure for assignments is a report. A report is commonly organised around the identification of problems or difficulties and their solutions. Unlike most essays, a report is divided into clearly labelled sections such as introduction, discussion, conclusions and recommendations. Also, and again unlike an essay, bullet points can be used in the conclusions and recommendations sections of a report. In your academic writing, you must follow the rules of punctuation and grammar to make sure that your writing is clear and unambiguous. Clear writing is always grammatically correct, has correct punctuation, and all words are spelt correctly. Students often use language they do not understand to make their writing seem more academic, but this can often make it seem more confused. Use words you know and keep your writing clear and concise. Another problem that's common in student writing is the over-reliance on the words of published authors. Use quotes to prove the validity of the points you make, but do not let them dominate your writing. Readers want to see your words and interpretations. For more help with academic writing, go to the support page on the online campus.